I'm Susan Watson, and this is Brother Roy Chowdhury. What's your name? My name is Kenza. Where do you come from? I'm from Algeria. Thank you. And what's your name? Uh, my name is Mohammed. Where do you come from? From Saudi Arabia. Thank you. Mohammed, do you work or are you a student? I work in a Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Thank you. And Kenza, do you work or are you a student? I was a student, but uh, I had finished at the university. What do you do? Now I have my own salon beauty. Thank you. Do you think that English will be useful for you in the future? Yes, I think that English is the most useful language in all the world because it permits us to achieve our objectives and, and to go farther than we, we think. Tell us about the people you live with. Um, <coughs> I live with my family in my country and um, we have neighbors and they are some of them are cousins of us, of me, yeah. Kenza, how do you get to work every day? I generally get to work by car. What did you do yesterday evening, Mohammed? Uh, I've been rather gathering with my friends and we're going to one Middle East restaurant here in Cambridge. Thank you. Thank you. I can see a lady which is maybe connecting on a laptop and uh, reading on a book. He is uh, normally in a library, or uh, I don't think he, she is at home. Maybe she is preparing for an exam, for getting more information. Maybe she is revising. That's it. Uh, talk about the place. I can see that she is in a library, there are a lot of books, and uh, she is sitting alone. As I said before, she is maybe revising or preparing for an exam or presentation or... Thank you. Yeah, I see one man, he is relaxing in his sofa and he left his mobile on the floor because he didn't want to distract by his mobile and maybe he's a musician, musician because there is one guitar just next to him and um, maybe he just come from outside and he didn't take out his clothes he just start to read and having one cup of tea and relaxing in his home and Maybe he's live alone because there's no one with him and his home is very tidy. There's no toys for his children or something. That means that's really maybe he live alone on his flat. And I think that the weather outside is cold because he didn't Thank even... Thank you. Now, in this part of the test, you're going to talk about something together for about two minutes. I'm going to describe a situation to you. Mm -hmm. I think the calendar is perfect or the t-shirt because for me, the calendar, I can see my club every day when I just check in the date, I can see my club and they are enjoying by the fifth anniversary for the or fifth established for their club. I think the t-shirt is uh, the best idea, so if he had the t-shirt with him, he can always remember the team. Yeah, mm -hmm. but um, sometimes you can't wear the same t-shirt every day. But at <laughs> least you have it at home and you can yeah, see true. it, even that's if true. you don't wear it. Yeah, and for 
this football, I think no, because I can't play football uh, every day. If there is some students or from their fans, they can't play and keep it away from their studying or something. I think it would be a good idea for the balloon football. Yeah, and for this pair, no, because or if they have a lot of children and from their fans, they can give it to their children. Yes. For book or from album. I think it's album for pictures. For pictures, yes. Yes, it would be nice. So that he can put all her pictures in this album. Yeah. And he can watch pictures, whatever he wants. Yeah, and you mm -hmm. keep remembering your team by, by the cover. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> yes. What about this bag? What do you think about this bag? Mm, I don't think that it's a good idea. Mm, but it's useful nowadays. You can use it for going to school or for going to the gym. You can put your tolls. But Thank to you. give an